What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. All righty, guys, here they are. I'm not even going to try to play the fool around and games and ooh, ee, ee, ee. Nope, here they are. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> No missing tooth, no teeth hanging halfway out my mouth anymore. Uh, it is definitely, definitely a adjustment that is going to take me quite a while to get used to. I almost have to learn how to talk all over again. I almost have to learn how to eat as well. But I'm going to walk you guys through my experience at the dentist's, uh, dentist's office. I'm going to sound funny. I thought I sound funny anyway when I had the one missing tooth. So it's a process and you guys know. So, um, <laughs> first of all, can we just like look at these teeth? I'm not going to get all up in y'all grill. <laughs> but yes, look at these bad boys. So I have one, two, three, four up top and one, two, three, four down the bottom. They pour three up the top and four from the bottom. So let me tell y'all about my dental experience. All right, so I got to the dentist's office. Um, you know, you go in the room, you sit down, and you lay down, or halfway sit down, lay down. And um, the assistant or the prep person came in first, and she laid out all the uh, all the tools that were going to be needed. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Don't look at those tools. Don't look at that table. I looked over at that table and my anxiety level just shot up and I quickly looked away. I was like, oh God, I can't look at that stuff. <laughs> it, looked, it looks like they were getting ready to do something major, major other than my mouth work, like cut me open or something. I was like, oh my Lord, you know, my anxiety level just went through the room and I just looked away. And from that point, I just kept on telling myself. Relax, Anthony. Relax, Anthony. Relax, Anthony. And then the the dentist comes in and he's all like, "Okay." And I'm thinking to myself, "Okay, that doesn't sound enthusiastic at all." <laughs> and I'm just like, "Oh God, please, Anthony." I'm talking myself down like all outdoors, just like, "Oh God, Anthony, please, just just please." relax because I'm expecting the worst you know that's part of the whole fear of going to the dentist because you expect the worst you expect pain you expect a lot of discomfort and and people always say uh, you know you might feel some some discomfort well discomfort to me is just is, is still a big deal so he started off by putting some gel across the top and gel down the bottom. It was, a, the gel was attached to these like long wooden, like pixie sticks or something. And then they were sticking out of my mouth and he was like, close your mouth. So he left that there for about 20 minutes. I guess that was what started the, the numbing process. Then after about 20 minutes, you know, 20 minutes seems like it's an hour when you're just sitting there not knowing what, is about to happen to you and not knowing how that's going to affect you, meaning whether it's going to hurt or not, or, you know. So 20 minutes went by, you know, I sat there that whole 20 minutes with my eyes closed. I did not want to look over at that table. My eyes was closed. He came back in. He took the two little things out of my mouth and then, this is, <laughs> woo, this is when shit started. Ooh, I didn't mean to curse them. But this is when stuff started happening, boy. I was like, whoa, okay, here we go. It felt like, 
I couldn't see because I had my eyes closed. But it felt like he gave me a tiny needle in every gum area that a tooth was going to be pulled. I know for a fact that he stuck me at least seven times. It was like, because mm, mm, mm. he would turn around, I can just see, I opened my eyes for a little, and I could see him like picking up the next little appeal, what I thought I think was the need. Then he stuck it down in the gums of my bottom one, like one, two, three, four, and I was just like, <laughs> trying to maintain, right? It, it didn't hurt. I mean, after the like second one, it just felt like a little prick, you know? And the first and second one didn't hurt at all. You know, I was just not expecting to be like, I guess, prick so many times, okay? But I guess that was the more of the numbing process because that's when I felt my mouth really starting to like puff up, so to speak. He set me there for another 15, 20 minutes. He came back and that's when he that's when he said, okay. That's when he was like, okay, like, like, let's do this. <laughs> But I, the, again, through the whole thing, I was like, ah, calm down, Anthony, relax, 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 you know? And then he started pulling his teeth out, boy. And I'm telling you, I did not feel not one thing. Not one thing. I did not feel no pressure of him pulling the tooth out or nothing, and it was over and done in like five or six minutes. I mean, I got seven teeth pulled, and I felt like he did it in like five or six minutes. <clears throat> and I I was thinking, oh my God, are we done? Oh my goodness, are we done? He was pressing down on my mouth with some um, like guards to hold the blood. And then he pressed down and pressed up and all this stuff, you know. And then next thing I know, he was putting the denture in. And he put both of them in, and then he took them back out. I thought, oh, my God, what's wrong? What's wrong? Then he came back into the room about two minutes and put it back in my mouth. He gave me a mirror. He said, do you like them? And I'm looking like, hmm. Okay, I mean, like, mm, mm. <laughs> but what I want to say to all of you out there who are afraid of going to the dentist, I'll get to that in a little bit. Gave me this little, oh, this is what I did not like. <laughs> this is what I did not like. When it was all said and done, you know, he was talking to me a little bit about things. He told me not to use a straw, which somebody in the comments said to me. Not to use a straw. And he said some other things that I forgot. But I felt like he didn't talk to me about what to do, how to take care of them. Yes, they gave me this little bag and had some instructions and stuff, which I did not even know was in this bag. He didn't even mention that, you know, inside this bag, you have a toothbrush, you have this. So I got on my phone and I wrote a question to him and said, how do I clean these things? So he told me how to do that. But I wanted more information from him. I wanted him, I mean, maybe it's, maybe it's just common knowledge that you know how to take these things out and put them back in. Maybe it's common knowledge that I guess at our age and you're getting dentures, you should know how everything works with these dentures and everything, which I, I kind of knew, but I think I would have felt a lot better if he took the time and walked me through a lot more of it, you know, to make me feel like, okay, I know for sure now what to do, but um, yeah, that's what I thought. I felt like 
I felt like he kind of, I felt like it was like, all right, it's over with now. I got your money. Get on up out of here. <laughs> I mean, I know that sounds terrible, but that's how I almost felt because it was like, I, didn't, I, I just wanted him to take the time and, 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 and walk me through. You know, this is a person who this is their first set of dentures and everything. You know, you want to make sure that they understand, you know, how to take care of them. And, you know, not just throw a bag at them and, and hope that the people will go home and look inside the bag and find all the information or whatever. But I did... I came home, came back to the hotel. By the way, I'm all late with this, but you see, I stayed at the hotel. I took. The, I was gonna stay at the hotel anyway. A lot of you were saying that in the comments anyway, <clears throat> but yeah, um, I read all of this stuff on here. I slept in them last night. Let's say after 24 hours, take them out, rinse them with some salt water, and all of that stuff. But I feel good, and get get this no pain. I was cracking up in the comment section because I wrote in the community page that the dentist is over with and <clears throat> I'll be making a video. And everybody was like, mo a lot of people was like, I, I hope you well with the pain and, I you know, rest up and this and that. And guys, I did no pain. Zero pain. None. None, none. Now, there is a slight agitation on the bottom ones on the outside because if I lick my lips, because you know, and your lips are going to get so cracked and chapped, let me tell you. I lick my lips, but I feel like a strain. You know that little thing down in the center of your mouth? It's a piece of skin. It's like really thin. I don't know what its purpose or what. But when I lick my tongue out, it seemed like it stretches <clears throat> that little piece of thing down there in the center of your <clears throat> and it makes the bottom one a slight bit uncomfortable. But I don't know whether the the bottom of the denture needs maybe needs to be shaven up a little bit. I I don't know. I'm gonna ask him in a couple of days if that continues. It's not bad, but you know, when I lick my lips, I didn't feel that bad that time. That time. <laughs> but it was not bad at all, y'all. It was not bad at all, you know. And I think a lot of people in our age range who have a fear of the dentist is because of the way they used to do things back in the days. Of course, we had we now advance so much technology and everything. It's not as <clears throat> daunting as going to the dentist. But we, who are at our age range, who are afraid of going to the dentist, just have memories of back in the days when we went to the dentist. You know. Whether they had new technology or not, we we still like, uh, uh, uh we ain't going. But I feel good. Um, I do. I, I I just have to learn how to eat, and that's to me is going to be the biggest challenge. I did go to the grocery store yesterday and got some um, mashed potatoes and a jar of gravy because I'm not eating just plain mashed potatoes. I have some gravy on top, and I mostly eat. I was doing this anyway before the teeth. I mostly eat from the sides. I don't know if many of you like that anyway. I very rarely eat and chew from the front of my mouth. I usually eat and chew from the, the sides of my mouth anyway. So hopefully that won't be too much of an adjustment. I think what I'm finding now also is the placement of my tongue. That's what I have to manage and I have to continue to work on trying to relax my tongue because the biggest thing about <clears throat> this, what I got done, the flipper tooth, um, I have more space for my tongue now. I mentioned before that the little flipper tooth I had in, it wasn't flushed up against my gums and uh, it, less, it left less room for my tongue to function. 
but this one is really good and I just have to relax my tongue and so that hopefully I can speak. I think I'm speaking pretty good in this video, but also the, um, you have to manage your saliva just now. You know, you, gotta, you have to learn to do that as well. But so far, so good. Um, I do like the um, dentures I do. It's definitely um, a step up from what I had going on before, but I'm good. I'm good. And thank you guys so much for all of your comments and the, on the community page. If you're not a part of the community page, you should hop on over there because that's where I give my quickest updates on things like this. But I feel good. Now I feel like I want to go south. I do. <laughs> it was raining like the first three days I was here. It was windy and cold. And in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, when this dinner stuff is over with, I'm going south. But today it was like 80 degrees and I was hot. I have these long sleeve shirts on, shirt on and t-shirt and everything. I was hot. But um, to all of you guys out there who are afraid of the dentist, I say, and you're talking and listening to a person who was terrified of the dentist is it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I don't care what kind of dental work you need to get done. It's not bad. Now, I, I will honestly say that the dentist was amazing. I mean, just shy of not explaining in, at the end, but... The procedure itself, he was amazing. I felt nothing, and it was over like that. So I say, get on up in there, get your work done. Nobody can come on here now and say, hey, use some of that YouTube money to get your teeth fixed. <laughs> you got nothing now. <laughs> And I, one more thing I want to say before I um, wrap it up is I was never a open mouth smiler. I've always, you would not find one picture throughout my entire life, I kid you not, of me with an open smile. I've always been a closed mouth smiler because I love my dimples. I had dimples. I had deep dimples when I was a younger person and I used to just and you're probably, you're probably gonna not see me do an open smile even now, maybe, but we'll see, you know. Does having these teeth uh, in my mouth, these dentures, because I think this is something that should be uh, spoken about as well. Do I feel like a more confident person because I, you know, had the dental work finally done? I'm not sure. I'm not sure because I, I don't think that I was lacking confidence in myself anyway, because remember, I had the missing tooth for four years. I've been in the mindset of, okay, anybody don't like it, you know, can go jump off the bridge or something, you know? So no, I don't think it's going to gain, I don't think I will gain any more confidence in it or whatnot. You know, it's nice. To me, this is aesthetic. I mean, it's just a look. You know, of course, it's healthier to have a healthy mouth. But in terms of the visual part of it, you know, I think that it bothered more of people looking in than me looking out. And I didn't do it because of that. I did it because some more stuff was starting to happen. <laughs> Two more teeth at the bottom was getting was loose. That is why I did it. Because honestly, I can care less what someone looking in thinks about that. Um, I was, like I said, it's been four years since I had that missing tooth. I was fine with it. But when other things started happening, I knew that, you know, I had to get it done. And I was in a, posi a position to get it done. So that's it. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Um, I'm good. I'm fine. I just have to learn how to eat 
and speak. Again, I, sp I spoke really well in this video, surprisingly. Anyway, as always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.